All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to render our date. So we've added this slash over here. Now, below that, we're going to add this another brace. So we're going to check the time first because it's going to render the time, I guess. Yeah, after this, the name of the author, the time. We're going to check if the time is true, which means it's less than 12 hours. So what we are going to do, let's just give a string back with a back tick and dollar sign. We're going to do is r minus 12 colon the date, which is date dot substring. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna explain what I'm doing over here. Three comma five. So what have I done over here? I'm doing date dot substring three comma five. So date is in the fourth part. One, two, three, fourth. No, what? How was that? Uh, substring. Okay, I'm just rendering the time. I uh, the minutes. Yeah, I want the minute over here. So first of all, I've rendered the hour and then the minute from three zero one two three. So three. Four. It's gonna not gonna take five, so forty-five. It's gonna be extracted from this. So here we go. We've taken that. What happened to this? Okay. So we've taken that. What else do we need? Um, PM, AM, or PM. So of course, if it's less than, if it's minus twelve, it's going to be PM. So let's provide it the PM. Otherwise, colon. What we're going to do, the same thing. Let me just copy it. But the difference will be there will no, uh, there is not going to be any minus 12 and this PM will change to AM. Now let's test if it's working or not. All right, it's working. The time has been printed. Let me just put a little bit of space after this slash. Yeah, it's gonna uh, add the space over here. There we go. Now, what do we need to bring in? We need the date and the Saturday. All right. So after that on, space on, space, we need the date second of uh, second element. I'm going to explain what I'm doing over here in a second one. And the other thing is going to be date. The third part comma, the day was in the first element. So date of zero, let's just see two, one, three, zero. So two, nine, January. 2021 and zero is Saturday. So that is all that I'm printing over there. Let's just save it and check. There you go. It's working fine. It's printed perfectly. There's no space after the short. Let's just provide it the space. All right. So we have successfully created our card and it's responsive as well. Let's check by doing this. See, this is the main screen. And this is the smaller screen. Great, successful. All right, what else do we need to do? Yes, we need to provide the pagination, the load more button right here. Let's see this load more button right here. So we need to provide that. So we're gonna build that inside of our news content file, which is containing the whole of the page. So below this, we're gonna create our load more button. I think I should provide an HR as well. Yes, an HR, then the button. It's gonna have the class name of load more. 
and yeah also let me add the functionality okay i'm going to add the functionality later let's just write load more all right i'm going to provide the style for this over here let me just bring in the styles you can see the load more is there and here's the style what's going on over here so first of all cursor pointer so that whenever we hover it there's a finger over there what happened to this the style okay i think i've written the class name wrong load more okay so i'm reporting cursor pointer the background color is going to be white just like the original one just like the original one over here and the border there will be no border the box shadow the same box shadow that we have given the above part the padding and the font size of 13 pixels and the margin top is going to be tw minus 20 because it's if i remove this you can see it's going to be pushed a lot more so i want i did mar minus 20 so yeah, this let's make it functional it's not functional right now so let's take this to our the main part of the app, the app.js. We're going to create another state over here. Use state, which will be named as load more. Oops, just a second. Load more. All right, it's gonna have by default, let's say 20 items. 20 items it's, by default it's going to display 20 items and when we press load more it's going to display more of the 20 items let's just send this load more over there let's put this the capital l okay i'm going to send this load more from here to this news content load more equals load more and set load more equals set load more there we go let's go back to our news content and make this functional so what are we going to do now we have this news results inside of these news results it's going to tell us how many total st stories can we print in this particular category for this it's 38 so we're going to check if load more is less than 38 you're going to understand just a sec so if load more, oh, I haven't received it yet. Over here. All right, the load more and set load more. Yeah, so if load more, it's with the capital M. Let me see, it's with the cap small m. So let me do this small m. Whoops. Small m. What? Yeah, load more. So if load more is less than or equal to news results, less than or equal to what happened? Load more is not defined. Okay, I'm gonna see that later. News results. If it's less than this, then let's put and over here, then this is gonna happen. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna put a React fragment over here. There has to be a parent tag for these things to be contained. Two things cannot be inside of React just like that. It has to be a parent tag if, if it's inside some uh, braces or something. Let's see if it's working. What happened? It got closed. Oh uh, no, yeah, it's okay. All right, let's provide an on click. So what's gonna happen on on click? If we press load more, then it's gonna add 20 more elements to that. So on click. Set load more. What is gonna set it to? Load more plus 20. All right, so it's gonna change the load more. Over here. 
let's see con load more it has okay i haven't uh, attached the functionality where am i supposed to attach the functionality um i think right over here oh okay got it there's going to be another thing inside of over here i think i think i'm going to have to provide it with the news results i guess or maybe the page size yes the page size if you look in the documentation it was the page size what's going to be the page size whichever uh, the load more length is going to be so yeah let me just refresh it Mm, what's going on over here yeah there's that let's code and press our load more which was our last story this us deadly fungus etc let's press load more mm, what something's definitely no oh okay got it it's because it the load more value has changed but we have to provide the load more as a dependency over here because whenever load more changes it needs to fire off this api again yes i almost forgot about that let's find that out again okay load more yes it's working there you go and when it's uh, the limit has been reached the load more will will disappear that's why we added this over here load more more than equals to i mean less than equals to news result if it's more than news results it's just going to disappear it's not going to go inside of this particular brace all right so i guess we have Uh, with this we have completed our app successfully we have completed our in shorts clone so let's just go and deploy this in the netlify so i'm going to open my mozilla over here netlify let's go to the netlify let's see where's my github also one more thing i forgot to do that this api only works on mozilla but on one condition if we attach something like this before this we need to attach something called proxy url when you attach this it's not going to uh, have any problem uh, with the cores problem i hope you all know what cores problem is when there's when the back end and the front end is not on the same server it produces the cores error so i'm just going to provide this proxy url before this if you provide a uh, this proxy url to any api it's going to avoid the cores errors oops not over here over at here proxy url let's see if it uh, works after this or not also one more thing you can see there's an error over here uh, what proxy url it's used bro come on Okay. Yeah, there's an error. React hook effect has made it missing dependency news API, but we don't want to keep the news API as a dependency over here. So we're just going to add this before this line. So it's gonna ignore this error. Just save it, and hopefully there's no error this time. Yes, no error. It's finished. Yes, it is finished. Yeah, fine. So let's just deploy it. Let me open that my Mozilla. Let me log into my account. I have currently deployed this site into the GitHub, but we can also deploy it over here. I'm going to go to the GitHub and authorize it. So we need this in shorts clone. So I hope you all. noticing what i have did over here i'm going to go for them again so just after creating your netlify account just click over here new site from git and you have to click, click over here github and just attach your github account by providing it the credentials and then it's going to show your repo just click the desired repo and you can see there's a, a build command over here so you can do either npm in uh, npm run build or yarn build and provide the build folder it knows that this is a react app so it's just going to show you this by default so let's deploy our site there we go you can go inside of this particular window to see how our site is being built or if there's any error over there 
hopefully there's not going to be any error if you even miss an alt tag in your project it's going to give an error let's see if there's any confusion you can ask me all right so it's doing its thing it's going to take one or two minute i guess about one minute let's see okay yeah site is live great good news so when your site is live just go to this link and again you can see your website deployed over here ta da you can change the domain from here if you want let's say i want to change edit site name i'm going to provide it in shorts clone okay site name is already taken let's say react in shorts clone yep it work let's go back refresh this page oh okay so we have changed the name let's go all the way back wait here there we go react in shorts clone netlify app so it's going to work in mozilla browsers and i don't know if i don't know if it's going to work on chrome or not let's just try i think it won't it just works on mozilla see you can see it doesn't work on chrome but anyway you can still add it to your portfolio you can uh, attach this message that it only works on mozilla also just uh, keep a practice of attaching the screenshots into your git repositories so it helps a lot for uh, recruiters to see what site looks like without opening it you can see like that and with that said thank you all for joining this uh, last session of react js workshop so yeah goodbye and i'll see you guys later